So hey, what's up guys, I go by the name Soji Grey and welcome back to my channel. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra was released somewhere in uh, August 2020 and it's been my daily driver since and I just wanted to share with you how my experience has been especially over this long period of time. It's been my daily driver. I don't use any other Android device except for this guy and I have used it. I have abused it i've bruised it so i do have a lot of comments and i do have a lot of things to share with you guys with regards to this device and my view of samsung premium devices as a whole so we are going to start off with design and build quality when i got my hands on the samsung galaxy Note 20 ultra i didn't have a case really for, for a long period of time i did get a case but um it got damaged after some time so uh, the best part of the one year of me using it i've been using it without a case and it's just surprising how good the front and back glass is because i'm someone who drops my phone a ton of times and this is also a slippery device as well but i mean no matter how hard this device falls I don't get to crack it at the front or at the back. The only issue that I've had so far is that the glue is beginning to peel off. So I don't know whether it's a heat issue. Uh, as you can see, this is how my Note 20 Ultra kind of looks like now. Although once you put it together, the glue kind of holds it together, but it does come off, especially when I'm charging it for some time and I see that um, you know it's getting hotter than usual you'd see that the back glass raises slightly I've, I've checked the battery to make sure that is not a, a battery issue and definitely isn't a battery issue so i don't know what is happening i do think that they nailed it because this device has fallen down a couple of times but it still works like a, like a true utility device so I, I love that so the next thing i want to talk about with the samsung galaxy Note 20 ultra and my experience over a period of a year or more than a year would be the software one ui has been a delightful experience like using it day in day out i just love the software the first thing i'd want to comment samsung on is the fact that they are very consistent with their software updates so anytime there's a security patch usually at the beginning of the month you'd get an update and i just love that the other thing is that i love how you know the whole software and the ui comes together even even the ux you know so when you're using the samsung uh software or one ui you notice that anytime you go to settings or you open you know an option of you know a default menu and the software you don't have that stress of having to take your thumb or your fingers up to the top to navigate they are able to give the what's it called the title of the page a big pardon so anything you can you need to tap with your fingers are just at the easy reach of your thumb which is very cool and i i kind of find it very helpful and aside that they are setting things about the whole user experience that i love so i'm going to go to messaging messaging is just a breeze i've made a video on why i think samsung messages is way better than google messages i'm going to leave it uh, up here or down in the description so they can check it out i also love the calendar app on the samsung galaxy note 20 ultra it's very intuitive it's very battery and a lot of work has been put into it now with the latest android 12 update what i like about the samsung galaxy note 20 ultra is the fact that you can actually have uh icon packs downloaded from the play store run as inbuilt icon packs i don't know how to put it so like you know back in the day for you to run an icon pack on any ui on android you'd have to have like a third party launcher but by default in one ui you can install these icon packs and have them as your default icons that is amazing now you do have to have theme park which is kind of a samsung app that's available for some markets but not available unfortunately for the african market but once you have theme park you'll be able to do that if you do want to see a video on how to do this on your device including download links let me know down in the comment section and i'll do that for you so i really really find that the software 
has been amazing my experience has been great when it comes to third party apps uh, I do find that they are more stable as compared to what I've seen you know when Marquez Brownlee for example talked about how the Pixel 6 is buggy or I think the Pixel 6 Pro is buggy and all that I didn't have that experience with the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and mind you after the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra Samsung has released the Samsung S21 Ultra as a you know the latest flagship when it comes to the Samsung premium line but the Note 20 Ultra holds its own and I didn't have apps closing on me and all that uh, the software in its entirety has been very reliable and I just love it everything perfect now I'm gonna move to the performance of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra when it comes to performance uh, and gaming recording video using power intensive apps I did notice that um, the device heated up very quickly however I you know go a new case it's a bumper thick case so when I'm playing games I'm able to uh, use the case and it helps dissipate the heat from the phone so I don't feel the intensity of the heat that much but when it comes to performance this device as well has been consistent the battery life though has been an issue for me especially when you're running 120 Hertz and you know the, the, the quad uh, HD display it does take a hit on the battery which is something that is to be expected but for me what I did notice work for me is moving or switching everything to 1080p when I'm home and having it run at 120 hertz however if I'm going out I just put it down to 720p because it really doesn't matter I think the Samsung display is impressive and even at 720p you don't really notice you know a downgrade in quality when you're using your your screen so for me when I'm going out I appreciate that I need to have more battery life than a better display experience so I'll just have it at 720p and it works for me now I'm gonna to move to the camera performance because uh, I love taking pictures of you know myself of things recording my daily experiences and I must say uh, for a device that has been over a year in existence the camera is very impressive uh, even till now it's one of the best cameras um, period like I go out I people I meet friends who have iPhones who have the latest devices and we take pictures and all that it still holds its ground the only problem though is that when it's getting dark when it's getting to say in the evening you're about to you're trying to take a picture now it begins to stutter a bit so if you're taking like a moving frame it's not very instantaneous once it takes the picture you'd notice that there's been a shake in the image which is not ideal and um, I don't know whether it's a, a software problem or it's kind of uh, something that Samsung has corrected with their latest devices but it's something to take note of aside that the image quality is on point it has all these amazing photo and video effects like the the focus mode so you have the focus photo and the focus video so when you're recording your videos you can blur the background you can change the background to black and white and have some fuzzy effect and when it comes to photos as well the portrait mode is on point like this phone has an amazing portrait mode and taking pictures in general has been great especially with the back camera you have like a three camera setups right or three lens setup I do find myself to be using the normal and ultra wide I don't find myself to be using the periscope lens that much uh, because I don't stalk people however the ultra wide and the normal mode is what I use a lot of times so when I'm recording TikToks or I want to show interior decoration uh, stuff on my Instagram I'll use the wide angle lens and every time it comes out super good now I'm gonna talk about for the last thing I'm gonna talk about that will be the S Pen because this is a Note 20 Ultra and what makes the Note 20 Ultra distinctive among the Samsung line is the S Pen I did find that I did not use the S Pen that much um, even if I go for meetings I'd rather type whatever you know notes I want to take down or write it down with a pen and paper or a pen in a notebook than using my phone um, 
I do think it does have some really great features. For example, when I was uh, signing this document to time back, I just had to download the PDF and I signed it with my S Pen. And also it has some very nice features like you can um, capture text from an image by just using the S Pen or you can do translations sometimes. But I did find that I used the S Pen the most to sign documents rather than anything else. It is uh, a good feature on the Note 20 Ultra line and uh, I feel like it, it does serve its purpose but as to how often people use it I because I'm not an artist or I don't do a lot of uh, illustrations I, I didn't see the use of the S Pen that much however if someone else has another use case it might just fit the person's uh, usage so guys that's been my brief experience with the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and using this device has actually made me appreciate the ton of work Samsung puts into making their premium devices. Like they go all out for it and I just appreciate that. Like it's been over a year and this device is still top of the line as compared to other Android devices. So it's been a great experience. Now um, it's been rumored that, uh, you know, Samsung is scrapping the Note line completely which is a sad thing um i don't know the next strategy they're gonna take but um i'm very curious i'm watching closely to see how it goes but so far it's been so great with the note 20 ultra and this is still my daily driver and thanks for watching this video if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon uh, so that anytime a new video is released you will be updated instantly I go by the name Soji Gray and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.